There was an accident with this candle. Well, that was unexpected. <laughs> Svetlana, the firefly in the room. Hello, plan friends, and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to see you here because today I actually started cleaning in my home, and then I thought, wait one second. A lot of people like to watch other people clean. At least I do. I mean, when I see people cleaning, then I get inspired and I want to clean my space myself. So I hope this video will also, you know, work things out for you as well. So I already started cleaning this shelf. I just cleaned, oh, I just cleaned the dust from this space. And now I want to, you know, put all of the plants in beautiful spaces because I am recently very judgy over my space and every single time I want to change something, something, switch things up, you know, so today exactly what is happening in here and then in here and then Rocky will help me. Rocky, will you help me? Anyway, <laughs> okay, so actually I just filmed a plant shopping video two days ago and then I actually filmed another plant shopping today so I will see how long this video is going to take and probably you will get plant shopping video in this video after cleaning video I mean I'll try to put all of this video in one but we will see how this will work out I'm not promising editing Satlana will clear things out okay <laughs> but right now let's get to work because a lot of it waiting so let's do it this space is actually kind of weird i'm not sure what i want to do with it and let me take you along so okay so here is my shelf here i put my small cuttings because i mean it's a pretty small shelf and i don't want any accidents you know to fall it down and break other plants so here i have my hoyas my ZZ cuttings and all of this stuff. And also over there, I have more ZZ cuttings and wait, uh, here, no, here, uh, here. <laughs> so this is my Potos Enjoy and I just keep him there because it's Potos and all Potos are, as people say, almost unkillable. I could argue about that, but for now this is over there. Then I have my portrait wall. All of this looks good, right? Except this part. So that's on what I will work right now because I have no idea what I want to do with it. And also, do you remember my rescued plant? Just look at this pot, guys. Look at it. Huge. It's huge. I love it still good still okay no ants as i could see so also guys i remember it i went thrifting and i got this beautiful paint painting so what do you think isn't it cute and it was for five euros but in the shop there was a discount and i did not know it so i was, was thinking about it i love the shape it's a little bit longer than it's usual could be right and I love the paysage, I love this cows, and it just reminds me of my grandma's, it reminds me of my summers, so I thought it's a perfect painting for me. I already have another painting thrifted with cows as well, that's a little bit weird, but I just loved it and thought, five euros? I mean, okay, I will pay it. And then I came to the, uh, to pay, and the guy that was working there said 50 cents, and I was like, what <laughs> and you know at that moment the angel and the devil on my shoulders were like say it should be five euros you know angel and they were like nah just buy it for 50 cents <laughs> but it just turns out that everything was on sale everything was for 50 cents so what a steal guys such big painting it's beautiful and only 50 cents insane First of all, I want to take everything out of here and clean the dust, obviously. Oh, there was an accident with this candle. 
Well, that was unexpected. <laughs> and actually, do you remember my white um, phalaenopsis, right? So it's actually growing a new shoot from the old one. So a lot of you actually on my videos with this uh, phalaenopsis said to cut it off, right? But then I noticed that it's some kind of small nodes and I always thought, well, from nodes, always something can grow, right? So I kept it and there you go. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Actually, I would love to change shelving in this room. I would love to buy new ones but these ones are my boyfriend's parents and we just you know don't want to change too much things in this house i mean we already did a lot of, you know look at the uh, wallpaper i mean insane so i am working with what i have and actually i think in this room this old looking vintage looking uh, i don't know cabinets looks pretty good i mean there is some stuff to work on, but all in all, it's not that bad, right? Just say yes, okay? <laughs> because sometimes I really hate them. Here actually is what I call a Harry Potter shelf, because I like to put a lot of small bottles in here. I made a broom myself, actually from the branches I picked up in the park. How cute is that? right it's almost like the one from the harry potter with this kind of handle right so i just keep this vintage looking stuff like that candles and etc so this is my vintage or harry potter shelf what do you think about it okay I think this is this should be okay right at least you can see something so i just like to play with stuff i have you know and just find the perfect spot for it for example voila beautiful Okay guys, so I'm done working in this room. I made everything look just like I kind of wanted. You see it? I mean, lots of plants in the shelf. Everything here organized, right? And they're organized as well. So my this clean mess is done. Then I have to go to the balcony because guys, in my balcony is a lot of stuff happening actually and do you remember my balcony garden well we need to talk welcome to my balcony garden this is my balcony garden that i am ashamed of let's be honest i am getting rid of it i mean i will probably leave this beautiful tomatoes it's a drama queen don't worry i will water it and it will bounce back again i just watered it yesterday and it's it again needs some water but what I'm the most sad about for example that my favorite plants basils were attacked by some kind of bugs that I don't even know how to call everything was started by my beans so my beans are already in the dumpster because they were filled with these bugs and then bugs from these went to the basils let me show you can you see it? This one. So there's ton of these bugs. So what is the worst thing about it? That these bugs are not staying on one plant. They're traveling all over my garden. So what is happening right now? I will just throw everything away. I mean, I tried. I did not succeed at so. What <laughs> But I thought since I have this shelf, I will better use it on cactus. And my other plans that will be happy are not on these ones. <laughs> oh my god! What the? That is poop! 
of bucks. Okay guys, I'm done with this part because I think it should be okay. I left one tomato that already produced some delicious fruits but everything else went to the garbage container because I don't want to deal with this kind of stuff right now because as you can tell I have a lot of houseplants and I don't want to risk all of them. So I disinfected this area and washed it all up. So this should be fine for my succulents and philodendron. <laughs> so that's where I will leave the plants that need sun the most. I'm still not sure about philodendron. Probably I will move it somewhere else. And here actually I can show you some of my Hoyas. All of these plants right now needs to be watered. I kept it not watered for one and a half weeks. So as you can tell, this Hoya really is thirsty but it just produces new leaves one by one i mean even here in the top this is all new leaves this is so sweet i am thinking of cutting it off and propagating it also you can tell that my agave loving this spot this is some cactus from my student this is a present for my birthday another hoya this is hoya crimson queen that is reverted and as you can tell, it's loving its new spot as well, because new leaves are over here. So here's another Hoya. This is my first ever Hoya. This is simple Hoya Carnosa, and as you can tell, here is another cutting that's growing a new leaf. And this one is from a plant swap, and finally started to produce new leaves. And this one is just loving its life in here. And here is more of my Sensiveria, Sensiveria Metallica, Sensiveria... Um, Copper tone, Sensiveria Kirkei copper tone, my Velfin Sensiverius. Here is my string of hearts that is actually blooming. I haven't seen it before and it's getting out of control. I probably need to propagate some of its leaves because it's insane. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I need to work on this one. And also my fairy garden, as you can tell. This beautiful euphorbia is blooming and it's blooming for the third time this season. So it's insane with about insane about blooming and I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. So since I'm done with this part of the balcony, now I will have more work with this one because there's a whole different story about all of the stuff I have in here. So I will leave this for another video because I'm all sweaty and I need to go to the shower. I hope you enjoyed this little clean with me, you know, do all of this plant stuff together. Plant stuff. Anyway, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this because I did a lot of work and I'm proud of it. <laughs> this is it. It's time to me to go. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, to like this video, comment. And till the next time.